So some people call me crazy. Some people call me the most interesting man in the world. I believe I'm just an average guy. Hey, so it's uh, Rick Steele, and welcome to my channel. What my goal is for this channel is um, to help you understand why, you know, some people call me the craziest guy in the world, some people call me the most interesting man in the world, um, but really my goal is to help you appreciate that a lot of what I do is just through normal, everyday actions, right? So um, I've, done some, I've done some pretty cool stuff in my life, right? Five Iron, five Iron Man's actually six now. I've done... Um, I proposed to my wife at Necker Island, where we had a private ceremony on Richard Branson's Island. I've even written, you know, kids' books uh, to leave as a legacy for my kids. So here's what I believe. Right? I believe that there's too much of the photos of influencers pulling up to their private jets or, you know, rolling in a Rolls Royce up to a, what's maybe even an Airbnb mansion. And while those things are cool, I like doing some of those cool things as well. Um, I believe also it's a blender. There's everyday life that, you know, you really need to see. So sometimes it's, you know, you're picking up the dog poop or you got to roll into Walmart to pick up medicine because Walgreens is closed, right? So today's video is just going to be a little bit of insight, show you what my normal day looks like. So, you know, we may start here at my company, which is almost 100 employees. You know, I built this thing from the ground up out of a uh, 200 square foot bedroom to what is now you know, the largest privately owned blinds company um, on the internet. So on this channel, I wanna show you um, and give you some tips on what I believe are, are critical you know, stepping stones to success. You know, it'll, I'll, I'll talk about the story of how I went from a trailer to a single bedroom starting this company in a single bedroom to you know, a 20,000 square foot, almost 100 employee company with 2 million customers. And it all happened because of really uh, dedicated daily action and going out and willing to fail a little bit. So in today's video, you're going to follow me around a little bit. You're going to get to see what I do. You get to get to say hi to my family. Um, maybe check out date night with my wife and I tonight and just see what makes up a normal day for me. All right, we're off to the uh, architects to talk about the Sedona house that we're building. And today, I guess we're picking out landscaping. So we'll see you guys over there. Hey guys, okay, ready to go in, meet my wife. We're meeting the architects here for a new home we're building up in Sedona. We're really excited, so come on in. Hey! hey. hey. What's up, girl? Hey, dude. Okay. How you doing, Gina? Nice to see you. Hey, good to see you again, man. Good. You look great. I've seen the lounge in between, right? Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is updated. Yeah, we opened the lounge up to make oh, this yeah. feel a little nicer. Oh, that's so good. We got the cold plunge here with some glass on it and then the sh rain shower heads and stuff. Where you put some interior like fake grass here and you step on it. It's, it's, it's a cool thing. Yeah, I'm yeah. just literally stealing this from my buddy. Um, but he's done this and it just... More natural. Let's water kind of drain through it. Oh, really? Because you're getting all these... Yeah, you're yeah. You're getting all these saunas and sometimes you're just dripping wet. So there's yeah. got to be a place for that stuff to go. Oh, interesting. So you build, you know, we put build a, a drain, drain in here. Drain and, yeah. and it drains right through and... Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. yeah. Hey, okay. I think I just agreed to stuff that I'm probably gonna regret. So it's 2 p.m., done for the day. Now it's me time. Gotta go get some sweat on, and we'll see you guys back at the house. p.m. Yeah, 2.15. A little late today, but uh, you know, I've learned to get out of my team's way at the office and let them do their job, and they're more productive when I'm gone, so let's go get a workout in. All right, actually, before that workout, my wife told me there's a boxer I want to take a look at, so I think I know what's in it. Oh, yeah. All right, you got to take a look at this. There's a pretty, uh, pretty cool story behind this. So these are our shirts. See the Select Blinds logo, that's my company, Ford Motor Performance. So, cool story behind this is 20 years ago, my brother and I were working a part-time job at Phoenix International Raceway as a temp, like through a temp agency to earn extra money. And then 20 years later, today, we're sponsoring our first NASCAR team. It's David Reagan, Front Row Motorsports. And we're gonna be at Daytona in a few days uh, for his first race, so we're pretty excited about that. So we got the shirts, the dog's barking, 
Got the hats. It's a pretty cold day. Nanny, let's see. Hi. This is the man cave. This is where it all goes down. This is where we're going to get our little bike ride and run in today. And then we got uh, probably you're going to see the biggest Transformers fan on planet Earth because I actually have four life size Transformers in my house. That was uh, paying homage to my childhood of 1984 85 Generation 1 Transformers. Yeah, so since we're here, this is my bike. It's actually set up on an indoor trainer. This is my Trek Speed Concept 99. I actually uh, do a lot of indoor riding now because last year I got hit by two cars, two separate occasions. So I'm doing what the pros do now, and I'm by no means a pro, but I'm doing what the pros do, and that's riding a bunch indoors and getting those workouts indoors. I'll go straight from here to the new, uh, the new Peloton treadmill and get on that and do a little, uh, do a little run after the bike. And um, let's get after it. All right, well, we're in it now. It's crazy how much more sweaty you get indoors than outdoors. There's no wind blowing on you. But I guess, uh, you know, doing the ride indoors is a good example of just some of the lessons I've learned. Uh, the old Rick would have, after being knocked down a couple years, a couple times last year on a car, would have just given up Ironman training. But I think this is just a, maybe a small example of just finding a way to push through continue on. The goal is to do a, a sub 10 hour Ironman. That may happen this year, but it just requires a lot of learning. Lesson is, you know, find a way or make one. Plus, like I said earlier, this is how most of the pros are training today anyway. I'm by no means a pro, but they're doing their, their rides indoors dominantly because it's just safer. There aren't people on their cell phones indoors. So, uh, you know, this was, this is my way of adjusting, being adaptable. So it really kind of doesn't matter where you are in your life, you know, find a way to pivot, you know, find a reason to go on if there is a reason and make adjustments when you need to. Where are we gonna run today, guys? Let's run in Hawaii. Since we're training for Hawaii Ironman, let's do that. And the goal of today's training was just about getting off the bike, onto the run, through transition. And the crazy thing about Ironman and triathlon in general is the transition is, unless you're training for it, it wrecks you because two different complete moves, bike and run. The legs are doing different things. I'm gonna grab a shower, get ready for an IV. Yo, Steel. What's happening, man? <laughs> you sound very relaxed. I am, uh, no, I just got off of a bike and I got a whole film crew here. I didn't know these guys were showing up today. Did you, uh, did you call these guys in? You no, actually- I didn't know. No, I didn't know either. It's uh, they just showed up and you know, they got That's to random. travel around with me all day. Okay, I've got to go. My IV girl's here. Yeah, later. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, for for those of you who don't know who that is, that's Orin, uh, my best friend in the world, uh, business partner, and a couple new ventures that we're doing. And uh, you know, Orin's a beast. Orin's a, uh, you'll see Orin in the in the gym and CrossFit, and he's uh, he's a complete animal. What's up? How are you? This is Ashley, by the way. Hi, hello, I'm Ashley from Hydrofix IV. <laughs> Ashley's my friend, How she does you? IVs. Um, Ashley read the book, 30 Days to Launch, and then now she has over 5,000 employees just a week later, it's amazing. No, I'm joking, she has like, <laughs> a couple of I was trip. like, yeah. uh, I think, I, I think <laughs> you're being misled. No, but yeah, exactly, I, I read his book, I got inspired and kind of went to work. Yeah, that was Pretty fun. Pretty inspiring dude. That was fun getting a testimony from her, it was, uh, it was cool to see like, hey, I'm done with my job. I want to do this for myself. And I, yeah. you know, so you take a risk and look where she's at now. Good Get job. out of the time equals money paradox. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Okay. All right, so you guys may be wondering, um, like why, why am I following Rick Steele? Like wh who is this guy? You know, the, the thing I'd like to get across is it's like, it's not business. It's not, you know, life, family, uh, fitness. It's really the blender of everything. Uh, there's a reason I get up every morning and sweat because it sets me up every day for success. 
when I go out and do some hard stuff, like I take cold showers every morning because it sets me up. So it sets me up to be a better husband and better father and better business person, better athlete. So, you know, I don't like to just teach business or success. Uh, I mean, life, uh, uh, fitness, you know, really it's a blender. You gotta kind of really be dialing them all in. And I think another lesson is that no matter where you're at, like you see some crazy stuff, training for Ironman and, uh, you know, running a big business, but that doesn't have to be you right now, right? You right now can be, you know, running a 5K or training for a 5K or in business could be setting yourself up for a promotion where you're at so you can create a little bit more time with your family that gives you maybe a little bit more time to start this side business or whatever it may be. So this is, I think, the reason. David Reagan, uh, for Front Row Motorsports, they took one of their cars to Barrett Jackson last month to sell for the Striders Hospital with a Doug Gates power plant ready to go track racing. The fellow who bought it decided to sponsor David Reagan here in the Daytona 500. So he went to sell a car, he came home with a sponsor. There they are on the car, select lines and uh, couldn't pick What? Up we have a NASCAR, honey, did you see that? <laughs> I'm gonna, I've already rewound that like a thousand and three times now, so it's like in the old, like old school VCR tape sort of like, how many? Yeah, if it were like a VCR, it would have already like, you would have seen the lines on the screen, you know? Right, the VCR, right? Did it go? Yeah, good. All right, you hooked up. We Sweet. got all your vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and electrolytes going in. All right. Tell me about your highlight of the day. What was your favorite part of the day? Was it gym? Did you have recess today? That was always my favorite part. Mm, um, oh, and math. I love math. Math? Yeah. I was doing like um, 100 minus something else. 100 minus, what's 100 minus 3? Do you know that? Um, yeah. What is it? 90. No, 90, 97. Yeah, that's right. Good job. Is that what they're teaching you now? Sweet. Oh, hey, Ellie. Welcome. Come over here. I'm getting my IV. Hey. How was your day? Good. Let me see your braces. Ah. Ooh, I like it. How was your day? Good? Good. What did yeah. you do? Ready for swim? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You swim fast? Yeah. Did any boys try to kiss you? No. Perfect. Perfect. What, is, what do you do if they do? Uh, punch them. Yep. Right in the south. Mm. <laughs> That's one thing I try to ask my kids every day, which isn't like, how was your day? Because it's, I'll tell you what a kid always says when you ask them, how was your day? Good. It, it's meaningless conversation, right? So I always try to ask them, what was the highlight of your day? Like, wh what did you learn? Not, not really what did you learn today, but like, what was your favorite part of the day? Because then they usually think and they find something that they liked. So it just is a little bit more meaningful conversation than how was your day? Because... Like the answer to that is almost always good. You could have been hit by a car. How was your day today? Good. <laughs> Got my uh, my thumb here. They're gonna. Hey, hey, come on. Uh, You're just excited. It's okay. Can you guys grab the uh, dog? Ethan, grab the dog and put him in He's the laundry room. Come on. No. You fart. <laughs> No. All right, Dad. so we're going to go downstairs and take a look at, I'll show them the theater. Hi, how are you? So what we're going to look at today is we have these walls in our theater, and the original idea was to put panels on these walls until we got the quote, and outside of like an act of Congress or me actually buying a new country, um, I didn't want to do that. So, you know, we the walls have been blank for like a year and a half, and we've just really been deciding what we wanted to do. So we actually met Tiana at the performance uh, at Shakespeare. She had done this really amazing mural of um, of Shakespeare that his yeah. head was like cracked open. It was, it was like a, open. And yeah, they were like surreal, awesome. swirly, thing. like a psychedelic, yeah, you know, kind of stuff coming out of his head. It was like really cool. And she happened to be at that performance. We actually talked to one of the actors, and we're like, "Who did this?" And he said, "Oh, she's here right now." <laughs> so you know, we met her and decided to um, commission her to do this. Oh yes. So Just a little bit. The, the idea was to get the <laughs> so interior I in, there. in there. Just <laughs> Oh yeah, gotcha, yeah. Yeah, put Cybertron in there because I figured, you know, oh, that's rigged. Oh, great, so it's amazing. It's gotta... So the interior's gonna look like a spaceship. It's gonna, you know, the, the idea, the big idea is to make it feel like you're standing in a spaceship. So when you're in watching the, you know, TV, 
Um, the transformers look like they're in their own little native environment. And um, so each of the walls, this is the first one. Oh, it's amazing. This is awesome. <laughs> Literally a playroom for a uh -huh. grown person. Yeah. Yeah. Up, you know, two is looking back, you know, kind of from there, looking back this way. You know, another kind of opening. Looks like you're looking out into a, um, you know, a galaxy. This is amazing. Oh, Tiana, by the way, one of the things we haven't, uh, we haven't talked about is like, how long will this take? Is it going to take a couple days, do you think, or uh, to do the whole thing? Yes, I have a magic wand like Harry Potter. <laughs> it will take only a few days. No, um, I'm anticipating probably two to three months on this project, something like that, with this level of detail. Which is basically 16 hours, days, team of 10 people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, me and my large team. Yeah, <laughs> the large team of her. Uh, right. Me and a couple friends, <laughs> you know. All right, so it's date night. My wife's waiting. You guys are not invited to this. We do this every week. But I want to thank you guys for uh, tuning in and taking a look at what I do every day. You know, some of this looks a little crazy and it's really just an evolution of who I've become over the last 20 years or so. It's me trying to continually evolve my equity and becoming a better father, husband, athlete, business person. And over time, I hope you're able to watch some of these videos and I can show you how I'm doing this and you get some tips on um, all those things in your own life. So thanks a lot, we'll see you guys later. So some people call me crazy, some people call me the most interesting man in the world. I believe I'm just an average guy. <laughs>